Take apart the iBook G4 by MacRecycling.com. You will need the following tools to completely disassemble the iBook. A pair of needle nose pliers, a properly grounded ESD wrist strap, a small Phillips head and flathead screwdriver, a Torx driver with assorted sized heads, a black stick or two, and you will find a plastic pick will come in handy as well. The modem is secured by the two screws shown here. Remove the screws and lift up slightly on the modem, handling it by its edges, then pull the cable out of its connector. This is a close-up of the connector on the bottom of the modem, and this is where the modem's connector attaches to the logic board. Next, remove the screws securing the I.O. ports cover shown here. Remove the cover by gently pulling it away like so. Next, remove the two screws securing the shield. and pull the metal shield away like so. Note the routing of the microphone and LVDS cable as these will need to be routed exactly like this should you reassemble the iBook. Lifting up on the black plastic tab, pull the LVDS cable up and away like so. Grasp the wires of the black microphone cable near the connector and gently lift it up as shown here. Remove the tape shown here. Then remove the screw securing the LVDS cable to the eyeball. Don't forget to remove the small piece of shielding shown here. The two outermost screws shown here will need to be removed to remove the display assembly but you can now also remove the two innermost screws which secure the small piece of white plastic if you'd like. The inverter cables connector is attached to the underside of the logic board as shown here. Pull the cables clear of the rib frame in preparation for removal of the display assembly. The display assembly can now be carefully lifted away. Now this white plastic piece can be removed. Two screws secure the small metal bracket shown here, which connect each section of the heat sink. Remove these screws. Here is a close-up of the two screws. Remove the bracket like so. Next, remove the screws securing the heat sink. The heat sink can now be removed like so. Notice the thermal pads on the bottom of the heat sink. These will need to be replaced when reinstalling the heat sink. 
Next, remove the sleep light cable as shown here. The hard drive cable can be pried up like so, then carefully slip through this opening to remove it. This is the fans connector. Remove the cable like so. Remove the three screws shown here, as well as the one to the far left. The fan can now be removed from the rib frame. Remove all the screws securing the logic board to the rib frame. The logic board can now be lifted from the rib frame. Be sure to immediately put the logic board in a static proof bag to protect it from damage by electrostatic discharge. The modem port slides off the logic board in this direction. Gently apply pressure like so to remove the port. Notice the grooves in each side of the port. The sleep light connector is secured to the rib frame by a single screw. Remove the screw indicated here. The sleep light can now be removed.